G'day. Tonight, we're going to try out this little combination here. That's the uh, 1963 Commonwealth Government Clothing Factory Nylon Outer and a 1971 uh, wool inner, commonly called the horse blanket. When I first joined uh, the Army, which was the Army Reserve, 1977, this is what we were issued as our sleeping system. Yeah, I can't recall sleeping in cold weather in it, and I can't really recall sleeping in warm weather in it either, if I'm honest, but it was so long ago. Anyway, I'm going to sleep in it tonight. It's supposed to get down to four in the morning, but six most of the night, so that's somewhere like uh, 41 degrees down to... 38, 30, whatever, um, so Fahrenheit, so that should prove interesting. Let me put this thing together and then uh, I'll bring you back. Oh, and just in case it all goes horribly pear shaped, I found my Whoopi. That's my US Army poncho liner. I swapped that for a Australian Army issue machete in 1980, 1980. So I've had it a long time. It's got a bit thin and see-through, but it still does a great job. A lot of history in that woolly blanket, as I'm sure anybody who's had one can attest. Okay, let's get this all together. As you can see, it's got little uh, studs, press studs, all along the end. I'll clear the, the bottom ones up for the foot box, but nah, the other one's a bit problematic. Same as with this, I generally don't put it together because I'm a bit big and rustler so it all you know, gets too tight but we'll see how we go with it okay coming back soon okay a little bit of faffing about but there it is ready to go so this should prove interesting yeah it should prove very interesting now i'm also going to uh, use a zelt bar that's an east german army poncho which you can use as a shelter and I might bring that out, so I'll put that over the top if I'm in the cold, because I probably have one with me. I'm looking at uh, trying some old school stuff, you know, just all military surplus. But I think that set up there, and the uh, Wooby blanket, hopefully that's enough. Plus the clothes I'm wearing, so we'll see how we go. Good evening. It's after 1am, it's 7 degrees. And we're about to uh, do this testing at the Whalen Proving Grounds and Live Fire Range. So here we are, all ready to go. I have the horse blanket and my wooby blanket ready to go. If that fails, I've also got an East German Army Zelt Barn. Nice bit of cotton canvas. I'll put that over. So, let's uh, get ready. So the first thing, we don't want this just yet. I'll put this to one side. And let's get into uh, this thing. I'll bring you back in a minute when I'm in. Right, well, my uh, spotlight's gone out and I'm not getting up to wave around and have the sensor go off. So you just have to take my word for it that I'm lying here. I don't think there's much light going on. Oh, there I am, I'm lying here. And first uh, impressions are, it's rather thin. So let's see how we go. Okay, I'll be back in touch. Okay, it's five degrees and I'm managing, it's fine. Just for the horse blanket and the uh, nylon outer. That's all right. Everything is rolling over. You become uncovered. But other than that, a fine bit of kit. Quite happy with that. Just not so happy. We have any light for the thing. <laughs> it was like nearly six a.m. Done it. Good morning. It's uh. Well, Quarter to seven, it's five degrees. 
<laughs> and the uh, horse blanket, nylon outer, works a treat. Uh, the only problems were if you rolled and you exposed a bit, because it's a bit tight, you could feel the cold through it, but while you were covered with it, it worked fine, down to five degrees, no problem. <coughs> I've since, about six o'clock, I put the uh, my wooby on, just uh, check that out, and it really does make a difference. So for what it weighs and the space it takes up, you might as well carry it and, and use it. And then you'll be fine. <clears throat> but uh, you know, it's good to use an old piece of kit like that. Find it works. Okay. Pity I couldn't get any film during the night. It's just black because I've got a light over there, but I couldn't be bothered getting up to uh, turn it on. So there you go, another, another hour here, an hour kip, and then uh, I'll start my day. Hope you enjoyed the test. <laughs>